And assalamu alaikum dearies, how are you all? I hope everyone is doing good. So as promised, this beautiful glam tutorial with hairstylists here today. I thought let's do a voiceover. So bear with me since English is not my native language. I hope you understand. So we are going to create this beautiful makeup look. First of all, we will prime our lips so it will be hydrated. And we will also prime our face. It's very important to use primer on face. And I want to tell you one thing, I have already prepped my skin which is also very important since it's winter and your skin tend to Now I will apply a darker concealer underneath her eyes to block out any color and discoloration of dark circles. So many people ask me what is darker concealer used for so I suggest using a slightly darker concealer when covering blemishes or dark circles it helps to cover it and it prevents the ashiness after you are done with your makeup a quick tip if you have drier under eyes then use a eye cream before using any full coverage concealer since it tend to get more dry our concealer application and blending is done now we will apply foundation and blend it Thoroughly. Blending is the key guys. You should blend your foundation, eyeshadow, concealer until you are properly satisfied. First I apply the darker sheer foundation to avoid any ashiness and now I am going to apply a lighter shade foundation matching with her skin. If your foundation tends to get grey in the end, it's a great technique to use a darker foundation first and then use the lighter foundation. It will uh, make it more beautiful and more natural. And always damp your sponge and make sure you dab properly. You blend all the foundation properly. Now we are going to apply a lighter concealer. Not very lighter but yet lighter concealer. So we can have that good coverage underneath our eyes. Now I'm using cream contour to contour her nose and I'm also going to use it on eyes to create some uh, shadow and I will use a cream blush and I will contour her face properly wherever we need some shadow and we need that sculpted face to get that beautiful result out of it. After applying cream blush I'm using the same a blender that I use for my foundation this way it will look natural and beautiful now I will use a baking powder to set her face and under eyes so there won't be any creasing and excessive oil if your skin is on the oily side I suggest let it bake for five to seven minutes and if your skin is on the drier side then swipe the excessive powder right away using a MAC pen powder to prime her eyelid and then I will use the same powder on her lids to prevent any further creasing but just a very little amount so everything is set in place and we have a smooth canvas to work with now I will use a soft brown transition eyeshadow with a fluffy blending brush and blend it properly so there are no harsh lines transition shades are very important to create smooth finish now I will apply a soft pink matte eyeshadow on her eyelids with a packer brush and then I will blend the edges with a blending brush so there are no harsh lines Always remember that dearies, blending is the key. Keep blending until you are satisfied. Now we will use the same eyeshadow on her lower lash line and blend the both shades properly. Once we are done, now I will apply a black kajal pencil on her outer corner and then blend it towards the inner corner with a flat eyeliner brush to smudge it and to create eyeliner effect without using gel eyeliner. It's a very good trick for those who find it very difficult to apply eyeliner. I comb out and finished her eyebrows using eyebrow gel pomade. Sorry, a clip is missing of applying false lashes. Now I am giving depth on her outer corner using slightly a darker brown eyeshadow. Then I will apply a soft pink press glitter using my finger to distribute it on her eyelid evenly. If you learn this one makeup look, you can get ready in minutes for any event since this makeup is perfect for all occasions. Now I will give a good coat of mascara on her upper and lower lashes to create more professional and beautiful finish. Now I'm using a beige pencil on her waterline so her eyes will look more open, youthful and beautiful. 
Now we will apply soft beautiful pink brown lip liner to give her beautiful lips beautiful shape. Friends, I hope you really enjoyed this video since I have put a lot of effort to do this look but more than that to do this voiceover in English. If you want more of these kind of videos with voiceovers with all details then let me know in the comments down below and please don't forget to give this video a like. It costs you nothing but it gives me a lot of strength and motivation to bring more amazing videos like this for you all the time. Now I will finish this amazing look with brown lip gloss and lip topper and now I will let you enjoy and watch this amazing hairstyle which my friend Katie have helped me to create this amazing video. I hope my friends you really love this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel for more amazing videos like this. Enjoy the hairstyle.